As a project engineer, I'm working on site with a customer. They have requested a design change of an existing fluid pump system. To meet a higher flow rate, we have identified a change in number of veins in the impeller, which may support this request. However, I need to validate that with my colleague back in our facility, in our engineering department to facilitate this change. First, locating this impeller within the build material, I see this impeller has been engineered with a certain number of veins to produce a current flow rate in the pump system. And as a start of my change request, by activating this impeller within the team center, I notice that Scott is an engineer that designed this part and has the ownership within the database. Using the Team Center, I can quickly initiate an assignment to start this design change to meet the customer's request. I define what is the name of this assignment, what is the priority associated with this assignment, and then when is the due date. So all this quickly can be inputted and I can provide a detailed description of that. Since I know that Scott is an engineer responsible for that, so I'm gonna assign this to him. And then once this assignment has been added, Scott will receive a notification, and then this will be part of this assignment going forward. Hello, I am back on site working on my daily CAD tasks. As you can see here, I have my assembly open. Some of the parts are released and not read only. Again, working in the managed environment. I check my tasks as I do throughout the day, and I see I have a new task assigned to me from the project manager about being able to increase the performance of the pump. The nice thing is that the task has the CAD data associated exactly with it because it was sent over to me. Again, I don't have to go look for it or find it. I'll click through on the CAD data. I see it in my model. In addition, I can see by working in a managed mode, I have other data along with that. I have calculation, some calculations that we have from the spreadsheet, and I also have some specification sheets that our company uses. So by not having to go look anywhere out on our operating system, and in shared folders is connected directly to it. I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick look at the specification sheet here and notice that based on the request from the project manager that our pump can meet the requirements we need to make this design change. So what I want to do now is I want to go back and what I wanna do is I wanna start a discussion back with the project manager because yesterday we had a design review with the customer and I participated in the design review and I wanna make sure that no other new information came up since he's on site with them and that's it's kind of the discussion we had yesterday. And as I wait for that discussion to come back, I'm gonna go ahead and start looking at the work I need to perform to make this change. So I'll, I'll bring my impeller out to work on it by itself. And as I wait to hear back, all of a sudden I hear back from the project manager. He says, no, that's exactly what happened. It was based on that design review yesterday. So with that, I know exactly what needs to be done. And now it's just a matter of doing some, some CAD modeling work. Um, I'm going to increase the number of veins from 6 to 12. And I'm going to go ahead and save my part out. And I'm all done making my design change. I'll also do the needed analysis and check for manufacturers and other stuff we do. But what I want to do now is that since my work is all done, I want to go back to my task and I want to mark this task complete so we can continue on with our, with our process here to get this pump out to the customer in that time frame we need it. So I marked the task complete, put my comments in there. In addition to that, our process it says that when we go ahead and mark a task complete and a part's all done, we need to go ahead and release that part. And if you noticed earlier, when we started releasing that part, means it will have that checkered flag and it can no longer be saved or written, it is released. It's frozen in time, so I'm gonna go ahead and release that part. And in addition to releasing that part, I'm just gonna have one more chat back to the project manager and say, all the work has been done, the parts are ready to go, you can now go ahead and make sure that it fits into the entire system and let the customer know that the work has been performed. As I'm working on site with a customer, I wanna take a look and see what is the status of this design change. As I expand and see in this discussion area, I see that some additional comments were put in. One of them is from the engineer that has reviewed this and made the design change, updated, and analysis has been performed that this design change will meet the customer's um, requests and increase the fluid flow rate. 
So let's take a look at what some of the changes taking place. We see that within the NX, we see that number of veins has been increased from the previous to the latest of 12. We also can see that within the team center, we see some assignments and tasks has been defined and has been complete. Thank you.